Hi, my name's Fiona and I'm the Rushcliffe District Commissioner. I'll show you today is how to make a bug hotel. Now this is one that you could buy from a garden centre, but we're gonna have a go at making one ourselves. Now you can use any kind of container. You could use a woven basket. You could use um, a plant pot. This one here is made in a um, tin, old tin can. And this one is a, a peanut holder for feeding birds, but you can use that to make a bug hotel as well. I'm going to be using a wooden box. I've got a couple of them here. And um, the kind of things that you need to collect to go into your um, bug hotel are, um, you can put garden corks in, you can use corrugated cardboard and roll it up into little tubes that you stick together. You can use leaves, you can use stones, you can use pine cones and you can use bamboo twigs which I've made here. So I'm just going to choose some of these things to go in my bug hotel. Oh, look I've already got a little a little uh, earwig in there so there's already a participant in my bug hotel. Um, I'm just going to use some of these things. I've already put some corks in and just start putting them in. So once you've collected the things you're going to put in you just start placing them in and you want the holes are where the bugs are going to live so in between the corks there's lots of holes the, the with having pine cones in there there'll be holes between the pine cones and the bugs and insects can find little hidey holes where um, they're safe from predators and they can spend the winter months or where they can hide in an evening and just um just be be somewhere safe so to make these little bundles of um, bamboo canes. I've just got a bamboo and measured the height of the box and then got a pair of secateurs. You might need some help with this. And um, if you could get someone to help, you just cut the bamboo into the right length. Then um, they're just bundled together and tied with a piece of string. And the best knot to use for this is a Reef knot. So if you want to have a go at trying your reef knot, but really any kind of knot, because you're just using it to hold to get your bamboo twigs inside your bug hotel. So I'm just putting my twigs in. Got a few loose ones that can go in. And these just give nice holes where insects can live. Um, I've got some moss here. I might put some moss in. Just put that in and I think I'm going to finish off with some stones. Oh, there's a snail shell there. That can go in as well. It's empty. So I'm pushing all of these in. You can put shells in. Anything that you can collect. Preferably things that are natural. So there's some bits of wood there as well as these stones. But things that you find outside that are natural are the best things to, to go in your bug hotel. There we go. Loads of stones there. It's a bit windy. So I've just got four different things in my book hotel, but you can put as many different things in as you've got um, space for, or you can just put one one item in. There we go. Let's put all those last stones in. So there's my book hotel. I've got space for another pine cone. Put it in. Oops, there we go. So there's my bug hotel. So I've got a load of corks there, some pine cones, some bamboo canes, and then I've finished it off with stones. Now, as you can imagine, if this was to um, tip over, everything would fall out. Um, and equally, some enterprising birds would be able to pull these out with their beaks. So you want to try and get somewhere safe for your bugs. So I've got some chicken wire here but if you don't have chicken wire there's other things that you can use which would also do the same job so these are just off vegetables so that's an onion one and I could use that if I opened it up in fact it might even slip over and put that in and that would keep it secure and keep everything in or one of these nets these are sort of um from satsumas I think um and, and either of those would work well but the chicken wire will just last a little bit longer and it'll be a little bit more secure and I am going to shape this on and then hammer it in with a few nails. So I'm going to put one or two in now, well, probably only one, but what I'll do is I will post a photo of my finished 
bird house, a uh, book hotel, so that you can see it on the um, on the Facebook page. I'll just put a couple in. As I say, I will post a photo of this um, so that on the Wush Fifth blog and on the Facebook page so that you can see what it looks like when it's finished. But there is what my book hotel is going to look like. And before I started, I did actually put a little hanging hook on so I can hang that up um, somewhere around the garden. That's one. And the other type of bug hotel I'm going to show you is if you just want to use a tin can. This one's very simple. It just uses a few bamboo canes and, um, and a tin can and a piece of string. If you're going to use a tin can, make sure that you get your parent to put some um, tape around the, the top because the edges there can be quite sharp and you can get quite a nasty cut from them. And again, it's the same thing. I'm just going to measure how tall I want my cane to be and then I'll cut it off as I say some of these bamboo canes when they're dry they're quite hard to cut and you need to do a few so I'll do a couple more and this um this tin can needs to be absolutely chocker full so that things don't fall out oh might have to find that one So you push it in until you really can't get any more bamboo canes in, which um, I'm almost there. Because again, you don't want some enterprising bird to work out where all the bugs are hiding and come and eat them all. Push them. Got one more here. And then that's another bug hotel here. The last one's going to be really tricky to push in. Push it the other way up. Just use the hammer to get that in. There we go. So that is really secure and they're not falling out at all. But that can then be hung up somewhere in your garden. And the other thing that I did with this one, this was a little... Um, peanut holder and I've just stuffed it full of dried leaves and um, grasses and things like that so again this is somewhere that the bugs can hide and they'll quite like that just use whatever you've got around if you've not got something suitable you can just improvise some of the other things you can use you can use scrunched up egg cartons but when you're using cardboard and egg cartons those will rot away quicker so that you will end up with holes in your bug hotel so that's, that's what I was thinking of that you could do. You could use shells, you could use snail shells. I found a couple of empty snail shells around the garden and use them. So though, that's for your bug hotel. And the other thing that's great to have around your garden is water for your, um, for the animals that come and visit. So this could be for birds, this could be for bees, it could be for your bugs. So there's all sorts of things you can use. You could use a tray, a dustbin lid would be great, but I don't have one of those. But you could use a tray, you could use an old um, sweet container, although that will look quite ugly around the garden. So you might, might want to have something a bit better looking than that. I'm gonna use this metal, this metal dish that I've, I've picked out of, our, um, out of our garage and that, that'll be perfect. So I've got that. And the next thing that you need is a large stone. Okay, so this large stone has um, two reasons. Firstly, it will stop the um, bird bowl, the bird bath or the insect feeder having, uh, blowing away. Um, but also it will, if, if something falls in there, it'll give it somewhere to, um, something to crawl out onto. And the other thing that you need is then something for it to stand on. So I've got these two bricks, which I'll put out in the garden later. And this is what my bird bath is going to stand on, these two old house bricks. But you can use anything that you've got lying around. You could use a couple of logs, you could use all sorts of things. And then the final thing that you need is some water. So you just tip it in and there we go.
it's as simple as that and that makes a really great um bird feeder or just for whatever insects and wildlife there is around and every so often you will need to just clear it out and give it a quick clean but that's that's that and the final thing that we can do for um finding out what bugs you've got in the garden is if you've got a grapefruit i know this is an orange but i've already eaten the grapefruit so if you've got a, if you've got a grapefruit then um you can use it to find out what bugs you've got in your garden so you, all you do is you cut it in half and you use a spoon to scoop out all the all the um orange inside and you can actually eat this so you, you all you're, you're going to be using once you've done it is you'll end up with your grapefruit half or your orange half which is nice and empty and you just place that upside down somewhere in the garden and i've got one i did a couple of days ago so i'll see if there's anything in it And inside here, I've got a couple of ants. I don't know if you can see it, but loads and loads of wood lice. So it just shows me some of the mini beasts that are actually in the garden. So you might get a snail hiding under there. You might get some um, ants or some wood lice or caterpillar millipede. I'll have to put that back in a minute, otherwise they'll be grumpy. But I hope that's, that's uh, something that you can try doing at home and uh, have a great cub activity day. Take care. Bye-bye.